with how to navigate socializing at a distance as we head into Memorial Day weekend. One top infectious disease doctor broke down her summer safety checklist for us. Becky Worley joins us now with more. And Becky, it all has something to do with quarantines. That's right, Michael, a quarantine. It's the hashtag all over social media. Small groups who find ways to gather or have playdates in line with social distancing rules. We found an expert who's also a mom of three in Georgia. It's a state that's been opening up for the last few weeks. And we asked her what she recommends. The sound of friends or kids gathering in the backyard is either music to your ears right now or scary or both. Oh, so close. Dr. Colleen Kraft, an infectious disease physician and microbiologist at Emory University Hospital in Atlanta, where she was on the front lines for the fight against Ebola, and now COVID-19, says it's tricky. I think some of the scenes that I've seen only on television of bars and very busy restaurants, those make me anxious. Uh, I get to be witness to people being extremely sick from this virus, so it's it's serious. But simultaneously, she says she understands the need for people, specifically kids, to see each other in person. I'm an extrovert, so I think it's really important. But I've also, like, everybody is weathering the storm differently. Enter what's being called the quarantine, or coronavirus circle. A limited group of healthy people, Dr. Kraft says her family sees in person while practicing social distancing. Who you feel comfortable about having your family and children around because they share sort of the same um, same prevention tactics. Tactics like minimal trips outside the house and even those being limited to places like the grocery store while wearing a mask. Dr. Kraft has three kids, 9, 11 and 13. Just a few days ago, she allowed them to see friends outside playing games without physical contact. And it's not just kids. We have a very small circle of people that we interact with. Two other couples came over to sit outside and talk, the six-foot hangout. Even when interacting with them, we don't um, spend a lot of time, you know, it's not, it's always outside and it's at a distance. That distance, six feet or more, and that's why she says they don't wear masks. Unless you think she's throwing caution to the wind, Dr. Kraft says it's literally wind or air circulation that disperses any potential infectious particles, making the risk lower. All indicators of what socializing may look like nationwide, hopefully soon. Some states still limit gatherings to 10 people or even less. Many states forbid gatherings of any kind with people outside your family group, and the CDC warns against it. And remember, Michael, these are small gatherings for healthy, non-vulnerable members of the population. And, Becky, we know Dr. Kraft was generous enough to track her whole weekend for us. What else wasn't she comfortable doing? Yeah, really interesting what she won't do. She says she won't go to the mall. She would not get her nails done or go to the gym. And even when social distancing outside with her quarantine, she says they don't share food or utensils. And she and another, uh, another infectious disease expert we talked to with a younger child says they're not going to playgrounds. Kids and social distancing, oof, it can be tough. Yeah, definitely can be tough. Becky, thank you so much. And for more tips on how to stay safe with family and friends in the coronavirus, visit goodmorningamerica.com. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.